Uh, hi, Mrs. Dutton. Welcome to the geography department. I'm going to talk to you very briefly about geography at A level here at the Brixton School. Uh, we study the Edexcel syllabus. Um, we, at GCC, the group of students study Edexcel. Most schools in Somerset will have studied AQA, but there's a really strong correlation between the two specifications, so it shouldn't be too much different for students. Um, uh, the geography at A level is very much about current affairs, very much about what is in the news. As you can see, I've, I've taken a few pictures to try and depict some of our key topics. So, in year 12, we study tectonics and coastal processes, as well as globalisation and regeneration. In year 13, we study water cycle and water security and the carbon cycle and the carbon security, as well as superpowers and health, human rights and intervention. As you can see here how that sort of fits through. Um, we also have to provide uh, four days of field work. I shall talk about that uh, later on. Um, how will you be assessed? Uh, it, the, the course is broken into four um, main parts. So there are three examinations, all of those are two hours, 15 minutes. You've got your paper one, which is your physical geography unit, your paper two, which is your human geography unit. They're both worth 30%. The paper three, is a synoptic uh, paper and that is worth 20%. And then the fourth part of this, uh, of your A-level, is a piece of coursework which is worth 20%. The piece of coursework is um, an independent investigation upon a, uh, a topic of your, your own choice and it's about 3,000 to 4,000 words. And I did put in a little example of a student's work from last year. He was looking at the regeneration of the Dockland regions um, and was sort of looking at the history, the naval history of the park. Um, we will have a residential field trip, usually at the end of year 12. Uh, in the past, we've gone to Slapton Sandstone in Plymouth, you can see it here, um, and we stay at the Field Study Centre here. The Field Study Centre provides us with specialist training and specialist equipment, so it's usually quite a good week. Uh, normally, it's five days with four nights, and uh, depending on student numbers, um, we, I drive you down in the minibus. The A-level paper uh, has a variety of different types of questions. Uh, it'd be using maps, uh, photos, maybe blog posts. Um, the students will have to answer short answer questions leading up to longer answer questions of 20 to 24 marks. Um, it's a whole range of, a whole range of skills which are assessed in the A-level paper. How are you going to be taught? Uh, we are really lucky here at the Griffin. We've got six uh, geography teachers, two of those, one is the head of sixth form, Mr O'Donnell, the other is deputy head, Mr Gower. And then we've got four specialist staff as well. Um, we've got specialised classrooms, the geography huts out in the field, as I'm sure you're all aware, and we've got some of our own specialised field trip equipment. Um, two of our team are experienced examiners. Uh, who have both examined at GCC and A-level, so they help support the rest of the team in how to best support you in marking your exams, as you can see up here, and, and uh, teaching you how best to answer questions for the examiners. Um, you'll have two teachers at A-level. You'll have a physical geography teacher who will be a physical geography specialist and a human geography teacher who will deliver the content of the course to you. The department uh, really loves their geography. We subscribe to a variety of magazines and journals which are uh, there for you to be able to access uh, in the sixth form, such as Geography View and Geofiles, they're designed for sixth formers. Uh, we've earned the Prince's Teaching Institute mark for uh, the last seven years for excellence in our teaching and for leading, uh, leading excellence in the area. We're a member of the GA, the Geographical Association, and we've also had a uh, Royal Geographical Society ambassadors come and talk to, this, talk to students in the school about issues such as climate change. Um, something else I'm really keen on that the sixth formers get involved with teaching the younger years. So you can see some picture here of sixth formers teaching the younger students about topics that they have just learnt. So we've got some coastal processes going on here. Sixth formers teaching the students. What are our results like? Um, we get really good results in the geography department. We're really proud of our students and the results that they get. A lot of our students go on to study geography or uh, related degrees at university. Uh, geographers, um, according to uh, the Times um, Higher Education, are one of the most employable from university. It's geography and psychology, actually. A whole range of jobs that you can do, do with a geography degree. And geographers tend 
looking to come out with a wide range of skill sets because of the, the social science basis of our course. So it's a really good uh, all-round course for you to do. I'm going to hand over now to some of the sixth form students because I think they can probably tell you a little bit more and a bit more interesting about the course than I can. Thanks for listening. Hi, I'm Ned, uh, I'm a geography student at the Griffin School and something I really, really love about the subject geography here is how passionate the teachers are for the subject. They have loads and loads of in-depth knowledge about everything. They can answer any of your questions to do with the subject because they are genuinely passionate about the subject, which makes you more passionate about the subject. As well as that, the classes are split into two different classes, so physical and human, uh, which broadens your understanding of the whole subject. And you have, but within each lesson, you have synopticity between the two subjects. I really enjoyed learning about superpowers because it's really interesting learning about competing powers outside of our own country. The classroom environment in geography is always really good because everyone's so like-minded and it's a really, really nice place to be. Hi, I'm Ollie. Uh, I study uh, geography at A-level and I'm in year 13. Uh, I chose to do geography um, as I'm really interested in the uh, natural landscapes around us. Uh, I particularly enjoy doing coasts uh, as it uh, relates to um, closer home, being on the south coast, um, and I particularly enjoy um, learning about how different processes form different landforms, such as uh, sea stacks and arches.